In this packet tracer lab, you need to configure writing information protocol or RIP version 2 to enable connectivity between sites in this network. This lab consists of required tasks and bonus tasks. In the required tasks section, you need to configure RIP version 2 to enable connectivity between sites and verify that the routers can ping each other's loopback interfaces. In this topology, we have three sites, Site 1, Site 2, and Site 3, which are connected via an internet router. So router 1 at Site 1 is connected via a serial link to the internet-facing router. So is router 2, and so is router 3. Each router has physical interfaces configured, as well as loopback interfaces. So as an example, on router 1, show IP interface brief shows us that the router has this IP address configured on gigabit 000. So that should be gigabit 000. It has this IP address configured on the serial interface and this IP address configured on the loopback interface. You need to make sure that there's IP connectivity between the various devices in the network. You firstly need to ensure that the routers can ping each other's loopbacks. At the moment, router 1 only displays connected and local routes in the routing table. On router 2, as an example, we don't see the loopback of router 1 in the routing table. So if a router 2 tries to ping router 1's loopback interface, the pings are going to fail because the router doesn't know where to forward the traffic. You need to enable RIP on the routers and ensure that there's IP connectivity between the loopbacks in the first part of this lab. Now there are additional bonus tasks. Once you've completed the required tasks, advertise a default route on the internet router to other routers via RIP. So within the RIP process on the internet router, Advertise a default route so that these routers can access devices on the internet. Create DHCP pools on the routers. So on router 1, router 2, and router 3 to allocate IP addresses to PCs in the relevant subnets. Create a default route on the switches. So as an example on switch 1, this switch currently has no routes in the routing table. No default gateway is configured. So configure the switch correctly so that the switches can ping each other. For verification, ensure that the PCs can ping PCs at other sites. So as an example, PC0 should be able to ping PC3 and PC6. So make sure that PCs can ping each other at the various sites. Verify that the switches can ping each other and verify that the PCs can browse to cisco.com and facebook.com which are servers on the internet. So can you complete this lab? Download the packet tracer file and see if you can complete this lab and ensure that all devices internally in the network have IP connectivity, but also that PCs can surf to websites on the internet. You need to once again configure RIP version two and think about how you're doing that configuration to ensure that there's IP connectivity between the various sites. So try and complete this lab yourself. Otherwise, watch the next video where I complete the lab.